Hey everybody, it's Mr. N here, and we are going to do another construction. On this construction, we are going to circumscribe an equilateral triangle outside the circle. So this time, um, we've done the construction where it's inside. This time we're going to put an equilateral triangle outside of it. I haven't seen a whole lot of uh, videos on these for you guys, so hopefully this one will help. Okay, so <clears throat> first thing we want to do is we, wanna, we have our circle with our center point. So we want to create... Um, a diameter and I'm going to extend the diameter uh, pretty long here and you'll see why in a second so I will make this diameter out to there say let me adjust mine I know on mine I didn't go quite through the center in fact I'm gonna make this a little bit longer too so I'm gonna do a couple adjustments I want to I want a pretty good length here and I'm going to slide this over just a bit since it's not quite in our center I missed basically is what I'm trying to say so there we go so I use a straight edge and I drew a diameter through the center now I want to label this point right here where it intersected this circle we're gonna go ahead and label this point X right down here so this is point X so what I want to do now is I want to create a perpendicular through point X so I'm drawing a perpendicular like that now, you have to go back and look at the construction on how to create a perpendicular with a point on a line. So to review that, uh, let me take out uh, the compass tool. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my pivot point right on that line. And then using any radius I want, I'm going to make two tick marks. So I'll just go ahead and make a radius about that size. And I'm going to make two tick marks here. And let's um, make one on this side, and then on this side as well. So I've made the two tick marks there, and now I want to place my pivot point right here where it intersects, and I want a radius that's larger than half. So I take a radius that's larger than half, and that's good enough there and now I'm going to adjust this and I'm gonna make a tick mark here let's go ahead and change the color so you could see it a little bit better here oh, I didn't change it okay there we go that should have done it tick mark there you could do it on the other side <clears throat> but you don't really need to as long as you've got it right here and now we're going to flip this and go to the other pivot point and we'll make the tick mark here where it intersects and the reason I said you don't need to do it on the other side is because you already have a point that we're going to connect we only need two points there's one and there's our second point so I'm going to draw this perpendicular now so using my straight edge I'm going to come through and I'm going to intersect these two points like this and I want this though to be a little bit longer so there we go okay so now in fact this kind of looks off a little bit but that's okay because it's actually two different lines but we're good so now what I want to do is I'm going to so I did step two construct it I did the perpendicular now moving on to step three and in step three we need to take the diameter of the circle so we need to put right here and let's adjust this out to find the diameter there's my radius there would be my diameter and now I'm going to put the diameter I'm gonna put the pivot point at the center of my circle and I'm gonna use this diameter that I had created and I wanna make three tick marks so I'm gonna make these tick marks right here let me adjust this so you see that okay right there I want to continue on I want to make it right here now and now what I've seen this in uh, other people doing it just saying just make a full circle you can do that if you want or just if it saves you a little bit of time a little bit a little bit easier for you you could just make the full circle going all the way around like that so you could just do that that's okay and now let's move this out of the way 
And what I want to do is I have three points here. I have point A, point B, and point C up here. And now I want to connect A, B, and C. And what will happen is you will get tangents. So let's go ahead and do that. And let's connect point A. And let me do a different color here for you guys as well. Yeah, you guys are always wondering, what color is he going to use? I've heard the comments. I've seen the comments. So right here to point C. And notice you ended up with a tangent. And from B to C. And there's the other tangent. And of course, A to B was a tangent that we had already created. So there's your equilateral triangle around the circle. Now let's just make sure it is equilateral. How will I know? Well, I can use my compass to measure the length of each of the sides. And let's go ahead and do that. So this is length, the length from A to C. If I adjust it, you'll see, look, same length from A to B. And then if I flip this over and put this here, Look at that. Same length and same length. So that way you know all three sides are congruent and you've made an equilateral triangle around a circle. So hopefully this construction has helped. Uh, make sure to subscribe, hit that like button, and we'll see you in the next video.